All right, everyone, let's talk about the new banners for Genshin's 4.0 Fontaine. Is this the best banner for newer players? If I were to answer that question straight away, yes. Is this banner good for the majority of Genshin players? Yes. Hold it now. Don't go wishing on the banner just yet. Let me cook first, okay? There's a little trap here itself. Lenny is a charge attack based character. Lenny is a five star charge attack based character who is Pyro. Feels like they did this in a similar update, you know, like a little bit of bow impact there, you know, Kole and Tanari. Now we got Lenny, uh, sorry, Lenny and uh, Yelan. With Lenny, he's a charge attack character, which means a majority of his fights using him will be centered around him using his charge attacks. Unlike Yoi Mia, who's also a Pyro bow user, uses her skill and then goes straight into her normal attacks to deal damage. Now, think of him like a five star Amber, Flamboyant Edition. There's only one hat that can be created at a time per shot. Also, after his burst, you make it explode using his skill, make a second shot, you know, do it again, repeat it. Seems like it can be an enjoyable playstyle for certain people. If you enjoy this gameplay, you can wish him. Too early to say how good he is and what teams he is used with. Just like wait a day or so to see what kind of videos he was uploading, what type of uh, recommendations people are giving him and see what comes out in the future. Also, we have Yilan. Yilan is a very good character. I have her myself at C0. I don't have a five star bow, unfortunately. She's like Xing Shu, but five star edition. That's the same thing, but one of her talents allows her to have a dice roll. And as time progresses, the damage goes up uh, for whoever's out on the field. I think up to like 36%. Also, use her E ability. She moves fast, get a little quick bit of a uh, hydro applied. Also, after that, Depending on your chances, if you have like three enemies, you get a guaranteed AOE charge shot, which is pretty good for her. She is mainly like a must roll, but don't let that sway you into like rolling. If you don't like that play style, it is what it is. Play at your own pace and how you love playing this game. Do not feel encouraged to roll for meta base characters. She's like one of the meta characters out there. She's really good for many reasons, like Shinshu. Up next, we have four stars. Now, before you click away, gotta remind that Bennett and Lynette come free in this patch. Getting C1 Bennett is really good. Don't need to go any further, but it's up to you if you want to. If you really like that character. Barbara is also already a free to play character to get her at maybe like AR25 or AR20. Uh, these days, she's getting used in like balloon teams, Nila blue teams. If you're creative, you can run out to enemies and freeze them and have other reactions just depending on your playstyle. You gotta utilize what you have out there. If you don't have Kakome, she can be in an okay character to have. <laughs> okay character to have. Hey, look, you can even DPS with her if you want. <laughs> Up next, we have my cat girl, Lynette. The artists out there are dying to draw. A reminder that she comes free in this patch. So tell you, you don't have to roll for any of these characters okay like this is like hey this is a free free pass unless you want lenny cool go for it uh i don't know how currently lynette really plays but she seems like she'd be like a sub DF dps with supported capabilities or just supported capabilities you know but she does have a elon ability which is kind of cool i think she kind of loses a bit of life when she uses ability up next we got the weapon banner all right checking out the weapon banner it's a very solid weapon banner for new players who those who don't have these four stars you know they're going to really want these four stars now remember each account is at a different level progression we're starting with five star bows i am definitely cursed at not having a five star bow in this account after playing for like nearly three years ah so lenny's bow this is how it works members of the team with the same element will boost the stacks of their uh the bow's attack percentage for each memo who has different elements will boost speed instead who is this weapon good for lenny of course this weapon is good for lenny because it boosts out charge attack by 16 percent uh there's also characters like tenari who's a charge race character yelan uh you know if you use her barb shot which is like the at the aoe skill you get the unique charge and you can shoot quick aoe damage popsy venti and definitely ganyu you can use this with your mia if you want uh Firuzan, sure because her uh e ability is like automatic guaranteed charge shot i have played dps Firuzan myself no you don't have to do this but it was pretty fun <laughs> so Depending how creative you are, how to utilize your resources, this can be good. Yilan's bow is ideal for her. Grants her 16% HP, I believe, which helps out her skill and burst abilities. Also grants additional 20% damage. That's really good. Uh, definitely will pair this with her. King work for others also, but 
Not as strong as with Yelan. On to the four stars. Pavonia's great sword. This can be a great early game weapon to help you with energy charge issues. White particles upon crit damage can be collected by the entire party, of course, along with the other particles that come out. <laughs> Get a bigger boost than the rest of your party. I'm pretty sure you guys already know that. Ideally, this is great for characters like Noel, who really needs energy early game. Thankfully, these days we got Goro who can help with energy and grant her defense. So if you find yourself in a little bit of a pickle, hey, you can try to put these two characters together, see what happens. Normally, uh, Noelle will want that five-star Ito weapon, which is really good for her. Um, some people gotta use the white blonde to get by defense stats, understand? This weapon can also be used as supportive for DPS, depending how you're playing the account. Say, hey, you want this one character to do the, their skill? Their purpose is only to do the skill of the supportive ability and help generate white particles. And that's what it is. This is really good if you want to use your burst a little more. Pavonius Lance. Pavonius weapons work in the same sense. Hey, look, crit damage equal white particles. <laughs> Get into the whole entire party. So you want to give this Pavonius Lance to someone like Rosaria if you want to use a more supportive. Yao Yao's pretty much best in slot because you want to use her like burst ability to heal up really quickly. Um, you can always give her the, the <laughs> what is it, the, the black tassel for, uh, yeah, I think it's a black tassel to get the extra HP stats for healing. Sure, you can do that. Mika definitely wants this. Mika definitely wants this. Do his constellation, I believe maybe two or four, give some extra particles over time. Cool. Yunjin definitely needs this because you want, you want 100% uptime on her burst. The rest is obviously optional for your desires. If you want to do that, hey. I got no problem with that. <laughs> Just so long as you guys have fun, okay? Sacrificial frags. Another amazing weapon for characters like Sucruz, Barbara, and Nahida. You can use it with Kokoma if you want to, you know, get her skill up ability if you're not good with the timing. Pretty sure if you want to maximize the timing of her jellyfish being out, just make sure you switch back to her before nine seconds and use the burst. And then you get to use it again. Depending on how your cycle rotation is and you're always counting down, you can have 100% of the time with her uh, skill without this weapon. But hey, it gives EM. So. It's also good for characters like Lisa, Yai, Sack, Greysword, another option. I don't really use this weapon at all. Only one time it had it when I used Beto, and that was early game. That was like almost three years ago. Only because she was energy hungry. So uh, I don't think a lot of the Claymore characters really need this weapon, but you could do it. I wouldn't smack this on D-Luke. <laughs> I wouldn't do stuff like that. It is what it is. All right, the last one we have here is the Sack. Bow. This is a good weapon itself. You can use it for characters like Diona. Since she gives a lot of particles when you use a whole E ability, having it happen again, that's pretty good. You can feed it into a different Cryo character or a different character of your choice, depending how you play. There are multiple ways to play your account. Not every account is perfect. You know how our artifact stats work. It is just all over the place. Your RNG just has to be on point. Yada, yada, yada. Hopefully this gives you some little perspective of weapons and how to use them. Sure, I can go more in depth with these a lot. Various playstyles are different in how you are crafting your character for the most optimal experience for your account. With that said, be smart about your wishes. Don't overdo it. Though this is an amazing banner. We still have characters in the future that are coming. This is a lot of bow impact here, I will say. This has been Hikaru signing out. Drop a like, comment, subscribe if this was helpful to you in any way or you just like hearing my voice. I would like to see you guys in another video. So yes, congratulations. You made it to one of my first videos if you're a new person viewing this channel. I appreciate that. This is all free. You want more? Subscribe.